The man accused of shooting and killing a worker inside the Home Depot on Davis Highway Friday remains in jail. And tonight, we have the arrest report revealing new details about that deadly shooting. Investigators say the suspect, 20-year-old Keith Agee, knew the victim. And in fact, they shared a two-year-old daughter. Today, a friend and fellow employee identified the victim as 18-year-old Brooklyn Sims. Sims' friend is speaking out today on the warning signs she says led to that incident. And Tanner Stewart joins us. And Tanner, that friend was also hit by gunfire less than five minutes from the time they were due to get off from work. Sue, I'm told the uh, contract workers were wrapping up for the day and looking at the arrest report, it sheds light on just how quickly this suspect was in and out of this store. Now, according to a friend of the victims and fellow co-worker, it all just happened so fast. In the arrest report, the Escambia County Sheriff's Office states 20-year-old Keith Agee is seen on surveillance, rushing into the Home Depot on Davis Highway and wasting little time walking down a specific aisle and opening fire on a female victim. Right now, mentally, I can't take it. Uh, I see a Home Depot, like, it sends me into a panic attack. A friend confirming today that victim is 18-year-old Brooklyn Sims. Cecion Parnell says she was just steps away from Sims at the time of the shooting, with her back toward the suspect. Parnell is one of two other victims who suffered minor gunshot wounds. She tells me she and Sims were almost off work. We was almost done probably another two minutes and we would have been leaving. It a scene that you think you would never be a part of because, I mean, I've, I've seen it on TV. I've seen it on movies, but I've always never, I've never thought that it would be me in a situation like that. And I definitely never thought that, you know, it would happen to somebody I love. Parnell says Sims and AG shared a two-year-old daughter, yet their relationship was always unstable. It's just been they, a little rough situation between them as far as, them trying to be together and recently they she's just been trying to co-parent with him that's all she kind of wanted to do all she ever talked about was that baby casey is and was her life the arrest report states ag got a call friday from a local medical center while he was at work in northern mobile county alabama that call took place shortly before ag drove to pensacola i called his employer today amns calvert which hasn't returned our request for comment Court records show AG was charged twice in the last two years in Mobile with domestic violence. In both cases, the charges were dropped when that alleged victim refused to testify. CC on Parnell knows the road ahead for her and other victims will be hard. She's encouraging anyone who feels threatened to seek help. Any woman that is going through any type of domestic violence situation, get help. Don't be scared. I just don't want this to continue to happen. It's not fair to people's families. It's not fair to people's kids that these men are taking it this far to kill somebody. And Parnell tells me she's unsure when she will feel ready to come back to work in terms of the aftermath. She says she's seeking therapy now and working with Sims family to try and heal together. Now, as for Keith Agee, he's still being held without bond, charged with premeditated murder and aggravated battery. Live in Pensacola tonight, I'm Tanner Stewart, WEAR News.